So today I'm just going to go over how to create a um, 3D model in SketchUp from a base map in Arc Pro. Um, and this is a, a six step process. The first step, we're going to extrude buildings using an attribute. Second step is we're going to convert that layer that we create, um, that 3D layer that we create to a feature class or a multi-patch file. It's a type of GIS format. Then we're going to um, add uh, CAD elements to that, so CAD features to that, because the next step will be to export that 3D model to CAD. From CAD, we'll open that in SketchUp. Um, it will be a little bit of a messy model, um, and so we'll run a cleanup tool to clean up the geometry. So this can be done in seconds, but it'll take a little longer because I'm going to explain the step, the six steps as I do them. So this is a base map in Arc Pro. Um, I have, I used a selection, just literally manually selected some buildings in the neighborhood in West Philadelphia to create 3D models out of. If you open the attribute table for these buildings, um, the information that automatically comes with the, with the layer is information about the maximum height for each of the buildings. Um, most municipalities will include that data in one format or another that in, in GIS files. And so um, usually that's, it's, it's not a very difficult thing to, to get that data in your building's layer. Um, this will save a ton of time because next I'm going to use that attribute to generate a 3D model. Um, so for right now I'm in a 2, 2D uh, map, so I'm going to insert a 3D map. So that's called insert a local scene. It may take a, a minute or two um, to kind of load the terrain layers. Um, I'm just going to turn terrain and, um, ra and the uh, imagery layers off just to make things go a little bit um, faster for this video. Um, so next what I need to do is it's a blank 3D scene. I'm going to add the 3D buildings that um, we selected as our, our you know, area that we're going to create 3D models of. Great. So we can't see it yet, but it's in there. And my 2D layers and my 3D scene is the West Philadelphia building. So I'm going to go and adjust them um, to become three-dimensional objects in this 3D scene by um, adding an extrusion type. So in here, I will change the extrusion from no extrusion to a maximum height. So each building footprint will be extruded based on the maximum height attribute. So that's the type of the extrusion. And now what I, I have to actually select the attribute itself. So the column in a table that has that data about the height. Once I select that, um, I will have a 3D scene. And um, you can see that this is now a 3D model. The buildings um, in just a couple of clicks, we went from a 2D map to a 3D model. So these are just you know massings of those building footprints. So now what I want to do is I want to run a layer 3D to feature. So this becomes um, an actual 3D layer. So um, layer 3D to feature class. And I'm going to use my West Philadelphia buildings. Um, we'll just call this uh, 3D, to simplify the name a little bit, um, and I don't need a grouping field. This is an optional um, layer. We don't need that for this. So once I have the input and the output um, names, I will run this tool. It should take a few seconds to run. This is the second step in the overall process. Um, you can't see it very well because it automatically gave it a white color, but now I have a 3D layer. Um, that I can change the color and we can see it a little bit better. So this is my, my new 3D layer. So it's a 3D layer in a GIS format and we want to eventually get this in CAD. So the next step is to um, prepare this layer for um, CAD. So we're just going to um, Go back to our geoprocessing and search for the add 3D formats tool. And it's going to be the add 3D formats to a multi-patch. That's what this is. 
now. Multi-patch is just a name for um, a GIS uh, file that goes from 2D to 3D. Um, and um, so Arc Pro doesn't work very well with SketchUp and Collada, and I find that that workflow doesn't seem to work so well. And so I'm choosing to go with um, a, a DWG or a CAD file. So we're going to go to Autodesk. We can use these other, we can play around with these other formats as well, but I found that the DWG format works well. So I've, I'm going to run this tool to add um, CAD formats um, so that if you open this in CAD, we have um, the different kind of formatting and um, attributes that you typically get with a CAD file. This step is also not necessary and optional. optional. We can just skip right to export to CAD format in the next step. For our exercise, we really just want to have a SketchUp model, so we really don't technically need this step, but at least now this CAD file has all of the CAD elements added to it. And it only takes us a few seconds to do as you can, as you just saw. So now that we have CAD format, um, if we open the attribute table for this 3D asset, you can now see um, some of those fields that you typically get um, with a 3D CAD asset. Okay, so now we're going to export this to CAD so that we can open it up in SketchUp. Um, so I'm going to go to my tool, search for export to CAD. It's converting this multi-patch to a CAD. So I input my 3D buildings. Um, doesn't really matter which one you're using. It depends on what CAD. For this instance, I'm just going to keep the default because, again, I'm not using CAD. I'm just this is just part of my process to get it into SketchUp. Okay, and this is just telling me where the location of this file will be, the output. Okay, so now I know where it is. And you can also append it to an existing CAD file if you wanted to. I don't want to. Great. So once this exports to CAD, that, that is the end of the process in Arc Pro. We can then um, exit Arc Pro. And start working in CAD. So here is the CAD file that um, I just created um, in Arc Pro. The next step is going to be to import it into a, um, a SketchUp model. So um, next is I'm going to open SketchUp. And I'm just going to use um, inches, architectural inches as the kind of template. Okay, this is just a little guy for scale, don't need him. So I'm going to import that 3D model that we just created. Okay. This may take a little while, um, but once it is in here, you will see that um, you know the two programs are speaking different languages and so when um, SketchUp received this CAD file that was converted over from a multi-patch file um, you're, you get a lot of what is called um, uh, referred to as triangulation so as you can see you know the buildings are not really um, clean buildings. They're very triangulated. Um, so that's the, the challenge that you have when you're, when you're going from so many different formats. Um, but there's a really cool extension called Cleanup 3 um, that you can download for SketchUp. Cleanup 3, um, what you would do is um, 
think you need to select the model first. So let's just go ahead and do that. You select the massings that came out of Arc Pro. Go to your extension, use the cleanup three, merge faces. It may take a minute or two to run, but once it does run, you'll see that um, your buildings are no longer triangulated. You have clean 3D massings. Um, and as you can see, this is a six step process that really can take seconds without explaining each step.